Hello developers, welcome back to the programming fields. I am Umesh Rana and this is the fourth part of our Laravel 1145 authentication series. In the last video, we set up password updates and forward password functionality. We also configured email settings so that user could receive password reset links directly in their inbox. And on the back end, we used Laravel 45 to manage the logic and security for these actions. This makes it easier to handle password management in our application. Today, we are going to look at another important feature that is email verification. This step is really useful because it ensures that users verify their email addresses before they can fully access the application. Also, this helps protect your application and builds trust with users. We will go through how to set up email verification using Laravel 45 from start to finish and we'll make sure everything works smoothly. So without further delay, let's jump right into the practical implementation. So as of now, if I will try to log in by any of the registered email address, I have the registered email address as admin at the rate test.com and password is admin at the rate 12345. If I will click on login, yes, it is logged in successful and it redirected to the dashboard page. But after the successful authentication, it has not asked to verify the registered email address if it is not verified. So this functionality is needed when you are doing a fresh sign up. Let's suppose I will register a new account here. So let's register one more user from here. Okay, password I will set 1234567812345678. If I will click on register, yes, after successful registration, it logged in that account and it redirected to the dashboard page. But here we have noticed it has not asked to verify email address before login to that account. All right. So Laravel 45 provides one more feature and that we will have to enable it inside 45 configuration file. So let's come to the code editor. Under the config file, we have the 45 and if you we'll scroll down and if you we'll come under the features array, we have the email verification features. But before enabling this email verification, if you'll we'll come to the terminal and if you'll we'll check the route list, here we can see we don't have any email verification route enabled. But as soon as you enable that feature and if you'll we'll check the route list again, you can see this added these email verification related routes. Alright, but this is not done yet. After enabling the email verification feature, you will have to enable the notification feature for the users. So in the next step, you will have to come under the user model. So we have the models as user.php. Here you can see we have an interface added as must verify email and by default this is commented. So we will have to uncomment it. Alright. Now in the next step, we will have to implement that interface. So we will write implements must verify email. All right, this is done. Now we will have to restrict the users to access the dashboard or other related pages without verifying the email address. So if we'll come to the browser and here we can see without email verification, I can access this dashboard page. I can access the profile. I can update this profile information from here, but we will have to restrict these all actions without verifying the email address. And here you can see this is a warning. This added the email address is unverified. Click here to resend the verification email. Okay. And if we'll click on the dashboard page, we are easily able to access this dashboard page. So in order to restrict these routes, Laravel provides one middleware that is verified email address. All right. And in the Laravel 11, that middleware is added inside Laravel foundation itself. So if you will come inside the bootstrap folder, we have the app.php. Inside this, we can see we don't have any middlewares registered here. By default, all the inbuilt middlewares have been moved inside Laravel foundation itself. And if we'll create any custom middleware, then we will need to register that middleware here. So we will be using the inbuilt middleware that is verified email address. All right. So we will have to apply that middleware in the route. 
So let's come under the routes web.php. Here we can see for the dashboard, we have the auth middleware applied only. That means if the user is not authenticated, then the user cannot access the dashboard route. Let's check this. Here I have logged out now. And if I will try to access the dashboard page, it redirected back to the login page. Okay. Let me log into that account again. Okay. Yes. So the auth middleware is working here. Now, similarly, we will have to apply one more middleware as verified. Okay. So when you apply the verified email address, this will check if the current user email address is verified before accessing that route. Let's come to the browser. Let's refresh now this dashboard route only. Now, before accessing the dashboard route, this redirected to the email slash verify route. And if we'll come to the terminal and if we'll check here, we have the email verify route added by Laravel 45. Okay. Now, if we'll come to the browser, here the error is verify email view response is not instantiable. That means again, we will have to add one blade file or view in order to verify the email address. And for this Laravel 45 provides another function that we will have to add it in 45 service provider. So let's come to the 45 service provider again. So inside app, we have the providers and here we have the 45 service provider. If we'll click on this, if we'll scroll down here, we have added this view. So similar to this, we will have to add one more view here. So I will add email verification view okay and we will have to add 45 colon colon verify email view all right so this is a function and inside this again we will have to add the anonymous function to return the blade file so we will write return view and we will have to check the available view inside resources views folder so if you will come under the resources views inside the auth folder, we can see we have the verify email blade provided by Laravel bridge package. Okay. So this is a view here. We have a form having post method and we have an action as verification dot send inside this form. We have a submit button to resend verification email. And also we have another form to log out that current authenticated user. All right. So let's render this view here. So I will add auth dot verify email. Okay. This is fine. Let's save and come to the browser. Let's refresh now. Now we can see that view is rendered out. Inside this view, we have a resend verification email button and we have the logout option. If you will click on resend verification email, this will trigger an email to your registered email address with a verification link. All right. But you will have to make sure your email function is working. That means you have configured the email credentials properly. And if you we'll click on the logout option, this will log out this current session and you will be redirected back to the login page. So I have configured the email credentials properly and I already have the mail trap account. So in my case, I have configured the email credentials properly in the .env file. And also I have a registered mail trap account. So if I will try to click on recent verification email, here you can see the email verification link is generating and this email is in process. So let's wait for a couple of seconds. Yes, here we can say we received a success message as a new verification link has been sent to the email address you provided during registration. Okay, so the email is sent out. Now we will have to check that email. So I will come to the mail trap mailbox and if I will refresh the mailbox here, we can see I have received an email. Here we have the verify email address button. Also we have the email verification link in the case if you are unable to click on this verify email address or if it is not working, then you can simply copy this verification link and you can open this in the browser window. So I will copy this link from here. And I will come to that same window where the application is running. Now here in the new tab, I will just 
paste that verification link and if I will hit enter, here you can see the email is verified. Now it won't ask to verify the email address again because that email is verified now. If you will click on the profile settings, here that notification has gone. Now it is not asking to verify the email address because the current email address is verified. Okay. Now if you will change the email address here, then again this will ask to verify that email address. Let's test that. So I will change the email address and if I will click on save, this is updating the profile and you can see again it notified your email address is unverified because the previous email has been updated and now in order to continue with this current email address, you will have to verify this email address again. Okay. Now if you will try to come to the dashboard route again, you can see we are not able to access that dashboard route again it redirected to the email verify route. Here we have again the resend verification email option. All right. Now before resending the verification email, I will come to the route web.php. Here we can say I have applied the middleware only on the dashboard route. Okay. So instead of dashboard only, I will apply these auth and verified middleware for all the routes that we want to keep inside authentication and verified middleware. So in the current scenario, we need to keep these profile routes inside the auth and verified middlewares. So without authentication and without verified, these two routes won't be accessible directly. So I will simply uncomment this middleware auth group. All right. And I will remove this middleware from here. And I will keep inside this middleware function just like this. And we will have to keep it in the form of array because we have multiple middleware applied here. And I will keep this dashboard route inside this middleware itself, just like this. Okay, this is fine now. So we have kept all these routes inside auth and verified middlewares. Now if we we'll come to the browser and if we we'll refresh it and instead of email verify, if I will try to access profile route, then it won't allow you to access that. Again, it redirected back to the email verification. Now let's try to access the dashboard route. The redirection is same. If we'll go to the home page, here we have the dashboard link only. And from here, if you'll try to click on the dashboard, again, you will be redirected to the email verification first. Okay. If you will try to log out, and again, if you will try to log into that account, so this time I will have to log in through the updated email address because we have updated that email. So I will add, okay. And if we'll click on login, so I have logged in, but again, due to unverified email address, again, it prevented to redirect to the dashboard page. So anyhow, we will have to verify the email address before accessing the application routes. So let's click on recent verification email. Again, this will process the email. So let's wait. Yes, a new verification link has been sent again. So let's come to that mailbox again. If I will refresh this mailbox again, here we have the two verification emails. This verification email was sent almost six minutes ago when we updated that email address. And this is the newly one when we requested to verify the email address. So again, if we'll copy this link and if I will come to that same browser window and in the new tab, let me paste it. If I will hit enter, yes, that email is verified again. And if we'll come back to the previous tab and if we'll refresh it, now it redirected to the dashboard page because that email is verified now. If we'll check the profile settings again, we don't have any notification to verify the email because that is already verified. All right. And that's a wrap developers. You have just leveled up your Laravel skills by adding email verification to your app using Laravel 45. This feature not only protects your app, but also gives user that extra layer of trust when they sign up. If you enjoyed this video, show some love by smashing that like button. It really helps the channel grow. Also, if you have not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. So you can be the first to catch the next part of this Laravel 11 45 authentication series. If you got any thoughts or if you have any questions or even suggestions for the future videos, please don't forget to drop them in the comment section. I'm always reading them 
and would love to hear from you. In the next video, we will be diving into two-factor authentication. So get ready for even more security upgrades to your application. Until then, keep building awesome stuff. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Till then, stay curious and stay coding.